All right. Well, I've got this thing full of water at the moment. Just want to give it a flush before I put coolant in it. Um, yeah, ready to go. The damn cold weather. Got a heater going in the back now. Nice in here. Once the engine warms up, it should be real nice. But, uh, got the heater on. Like up here, just so the water will flow. Let's see what happens. Make sure can park. the gas twice, turn the choke on, cool, a little bit of water went through it, like a diesel. <laughs> Has got oil in it. Ah, now it's got oil pressure. I find out what oil's in this. Maybe uh, change it to something a bit better. Warming it up and start hunting. Hmm, cabby problem. Seems like the main jet cuts out. <coughs> it's primary, it's secondary, and yeah, it runs and then just stops. And at idle, feels coming through it. So I'll have to work out. This does have some lock-offs on it as well. So it could be wiring issue. I've come across that before, but I doubt it with this. I reckon it's probably all set up wrong and probably got a blockage somewhere. But you can hear it make a weird noise when it happens. I knew it was a bloody wiring problem. We've got the wrong vacuum line up here. What? Alright, put vacuum line there. Shuts off the main deck. Puts a vacuum there and stops it from uh, working. I think that one should go here. I have a visitor. It's warm in here, isn't it? Well, yeah. Don't know where this vacuum line is supposed to go, but all I know is it went to the wrong spot. Because it puts a full vacuum there when that solenoid light uh, loses power and pulls the fuel out here. And that should be a vent of some description. So, probably just all pollution control shit. I'll just make it so it works, but I don't have any reference to know where these hoses should go. So, I'll just make it work and yeah, that'll be that. Cat's at the back now. But yeah. I'm just making a temporary control board for everything in the van, because I've talked to the customer, and we've decided we're going to redo everything back there in that wooden box. Do it to my standards. <laughs> well, that should all work now. Just got to click, connect the car loom to it and give it power and put that to ground. That should work. As I say, very temporary until we get some more parts in and one of those big fuse blockers I used in the uh, Mercedes. We get two of them and I'm going to run everything in the van, like the fridge and the inverter and all that. 
nicely. Yeah, well this will run those fans and the aircon. Very temporary as I say, but um, at least the van will drive now. Later on we'll, fit, we'll rewire everything and make it all pretty. Maybe even up here, you never know. You know my crazy little projects. Oh, it's cold and wet and miserable today. Well, that box is temporarily done for now until some parts come in. But uh, it all seems to work. Turn on the air conditioning. That's the air conditioning fan. Hmm, compressor starts, fans work. When the engine comes to temperature, it should come on. I haven't tested that, but I know it'll work because I did it. But um, let's see if the damn thing will run. It's not tuned very well at the moment until I take it out. Well, it's a better cold start than it had last time. 